Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Different pools at the moor Looks like he's punching in real wine And the spring air is nice But I squint my eyes from the sun Things got out of hand last night So I post up on the front porch And watch all them young guns fly But They had the gas and fill tub And the speakers ain't enough Because them horses This is our annual kids turkey hunt, and I am on the Hart Ranch in Colorado, and it was uh, three days into the opener of turkey season in Colorado. <laughs> this started out with my desire to take my nephews and my daughter. And we used, usually go to Nebraska, but because of COVID, we couldn't get tags. It's unique because it's in some gorgeous country and you're looking up at snow, you know, snowy peaks still because it's spring. And then you, you've you got these uh, cedar hillsides and it, it looks more like elk and mule deer country, kind of. Sunlight, it's on her skin. She's my feather in the way. And Brad, this is, uh, I want to introduce you and t take us through how we met. Because it's it happened last year. We met through a mutual fan. Uh, usually the game warden will send me a kid from the spring hunter safety course every year and I'll take him out and uh, do my best to get him a bird. Uh, but last year, because of COVID, I didn't have any, we, they didn't have a hunter safety course. So we didn't have any, I didn't have anything lined up. And because of COVID, you lost your normal place in Nebraska. Right. And Donnell said, would you be interested in taking some kids? And I'm like, that and I'm like, yeah, actually, I don't have anything planned. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got together, we talked on the phone, we emailed pictures back and forth as far as some of the birds we've got here. And, and actually, last year, we had kind of a record number of birds. And had so much fun last year, we decided to do it again. Sam, talk us through the journey of what you have learned as a bow hunter from what happened last year to this year. And then we'll, then I want you to tell us what happened that first morning. Well, I did learn that last year, you got to start practicing shooting your bow before like two days before the hunt. That's very important. <laughs> oh, that's pretty one, Charlie. Oh. Talk us through what happened. It's the first morning. I mean, I live in New Mexico, so it's super cold for me. And we are getting into the bottleneck. It has to be like super sneaky, so we have to walk a long time to get to the blind. And then we get in there, we set up, and by, we got there late. By the time we were all set up, and they were on the ground strutting and all that. After that, none of them came for a while, but it was still morning, and then we heard a gobble pretty close, and we started calling them in, and the big Tom comes over and like looks like it's gonna fight the decoy, Jake. And so it runs over to the side of the blind, and it 
just like stops at the decoy. So you had you couldn't shoot sitting down. So you had to stand up, and it this was from the side of the blind, which wasn't open like the front. There was just a sliver. And I went through the top feathers, and he turned around and looked at the Jake decoy like he had fought him or something. It was pretty funny. I reached down and got a new arrow, and it was slowly moving to the front of the blind, and I had already knocked an arrow, and it was still like eight yards away, so I had to stand up again. And at that point, it was like it stopped because Trevin made like called it and made it stop. And I stood up and I nailed it. It was awesome. The, you l reached over and pat my back and like, take a few deep breaths. Come on. <laughs> I was like shaking. So that was the first. That was kind of how it kicked us off. Think about that. Is that sweet or what? Yeah. It's heavy. How, how far was it? 15 yards? Really? 10, I don't know. No. Look close in the video. It was probably about eight yards. First shot was about two yards. <laughs> and he shot a little high. Yeah. Can I put it down? Yeah. <laughs> Up. That's the biggest spurs I've seen on a Miriam's, I think. Yeah. Cool. I never got a chance to look at his spurs. Those are nice for <laughs> Let's bring up Jack. Jack, how old are you now? I am 11. What did you do to prepare yourself um, with a bow? Raised my poundage. You raised your poundage, you did, and I also built you a little bit heavier arrows too. When you showed up here, you were a little bit unsure, but you guys designed this little game where you guys were betting and shooting. Did that help build your confidence? Yeah. Yes. Quite a bit, didn't it? Yeah. You were with Tanner. Yeah. And uh, Avery. And Avery. And Kyle. So tell us about some of those, some of those opportunities. So, one of the times there was a tom that came right on one side, but we had the wrong side of the blind open, so we couldn't just, we couldn't just lean over and get it. Because they're so close, and if you don't raise the other side of the blind up, then they can see you because you, it's open. The next time, it was very similar, except there was multiple toms. So, so you guys are set up in a thicket about 200 yards from where Brad, Hunter, and I are set up. Well, so they, one of them was bigger than the other, so I decided to go for that one. Yeah. We could hear them gobbling all the way down through there, and then uh, they came right down to our right. <sighs> Darn it. That was close. Not really. I missed badly. You just shot low. Yeah. It's okay. No, it was just a little past 15. I thought you said 10. Oh, no. I said 15. It was just way too low, mm -hmm. so that was annoying. <laughs> it was pretty annoying, but those birds were not giving you any, giving you much. They would not stop. I think you ended up shooting them while, while he was walking, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or shooting at him. It was lined up good. It was just low. Yeah, that was it. You were on target. You were just, you just shot a little low. Dad, you can see them there. They, they got spooked, but they don't care anymore, so they'll probably
I want Hunter to take us through. This is, you didn't even hunt this morning because you had to go to school. And then when you and your dad got here, we went and jumped into blind. So tonight when we sat up, um, we knew because of this morning, we'd seen birds go into a really good direction. And we were even able to see some birds a couple draws over. And we had a pretty good feeling that, uh, you know, it was four or five toms that one of those was going to yeah. walk by them. Kill him. Shoot him, Hunter. There you go. Perfect. Did you get it? I think I got him. Let's. I thought I heard you say shoot him that when I shot. Shoot him at the H brace. Okay. All right. First of all, I'm gonna go to Papa here. So talk us through that thing, man. Okay. Actually, it was mostly Jake's and a couple of hands and a Tom were coming right down this fence. And we had the shot set up for through this gate or right at the, the H brace. And the Tom didn't stop. And I kept telling Hunter to shoot him, but then. Now shoot him, shoot him. And Hunter was listening to the cameraman, not his father. <laughs> and, and we got the shot in the next window. So did you hear me stop him when he put his head up and I just hammered on the call and he stopped him and I said, kill him. I were you have him. were you having a hard time getting on him? I saw him. I, I wasn't. I couldn't quite see him yet. Oh! Get out of my chair halfway. Because he was looking through that window. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm like, he's gonna shoot him right here because his head's up and he's looking around, right? And then he started moving, and then I'm like, no, no, no! <laughs> I, I just see the bird leaving, and I'm telling him, shoot, shoot him, no! <laughs> with his ears uh, plugged. Yeah, with my ears plugged, so I can't hear what you're saying, which is wait. I hunt with kids a lot but adding the camera and extra people in the blind and that all that's extra movement oh. and we just heard a gobble down by the other blind <laughs> hopefully they get one let's go get that bird it's april right yes Boats. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, you do. It looks like we need to start getting you dialed in, buddy. Dude, once you go to a bow, though, it's so fun just to shoot. Like the boys sitting out there just shooting. It's just a fun, you know, fun to shoot. So Charlie, you're now you're up. You're now your yes. primary because you you let Jack have that crack. Mm -hmm. He had it. He had a swing and a miss. You are up. Yeah. We yeah. had some we had some hens come by. Was that was that right after the shotgun blast without a tom? Uh huh. Yeah. Was those were hens? May, maybe five. No, those were Jake's. That was with the toms. I saw oh. one, I saw one beard, but yeah. I, that's but they, all. They, I saw. Were, they were cooking. They yeah. did not want to be yeah. there. They were moving. I only saw one beard, but anyway, yeah, they passed right by us, and uh, yeah, and so we were like waiting, like, oh, maybe there's a maybe there's a tom. I was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> so <laughs> I just got <laughs> so <laughs> poleaxed.
she we could start seeing her at like I don't know five yards and came right up to the decoys and just checking stuff out and then three or four more hens uh, came pretty quickly after that like 30 seconds after the first he was feeding the whole time, he so just, he was just yeah. moving very slowly. He was just slowly. kind of picking, and then he'd kind of like half, he'd go like half strut at that decoy, but he would never, I think he went full strut. Yeah, he went full strut for a little while, uh-huh. right in front of the decoy, and just kind of did a little circle. Yeah, and then not And then he'd long. go back to like picking stuff. And The hens got really comfortable, and so we we knew we had time. And he was like right at the left edge where Kyle could just get him. And then, and then you had a one of the braces in your uh-huh. way, right, for but, a long time. But the the hens were comfortable, so I just let him. He was moving around, and he like like Tanner said, he was behind one of the braces. But um, instead of like move and try and get out of the way, we decided just to let uh, him move out of the way into your shooting. Yes, room. and. That's really smart. That That's exactly what he did. He uh, sat there for about 15, 30 seconds and then moved out of the way and... I think it was like 13 yards. and none of the hens and the tom did not see so shot him and did he did he do the did little, little girls that didn't go 20 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he just did the flop and stop. Uh huh. Oh yeah. But he he died within five yards. What do you think this journey you've you've come from from last year to this year? I mean, your confidence level is pretty hmm. sky high. I I think that that's it. I'm I'm definitely shooting better, um, but uh, my confidence and like staying level headed the whole time instead of like getting real jittery and forgetting what I practiced, which is what happened uh, last year. But um, this year I, did, I didn't I did have any problems with that. At least I, I felt like I felt good the whole time. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.